morning guys welcome to today's video it is Tuesday and today we are going on a field trip Sam's taking us on a tr field trip he designed the field trip he planned it out so we are gonna see where we end up we're gonna take you guys with us but for now let's feed horses Chino is unhappy <laughs> So it rained in the night, and of course today's the day the farrier comes. I'm so excited to get Chino done. Of course it rained, so the horses are a mess. Grain first. Hopefully Gabby makes it down here soon because she needs to clean her horse's stall before the farrier gets here because I like to have a clean barn. To be honest, the barn is right off since we went to the horse show on the weekend. Everything just kind of fell apart when you're away. You're just doing whatever you can to survive. And then when we got back, it was just like a whole lot of everything that we needed to get done, plus we had homeschool. Homeschool is like a big time drain, but totally necessary. This is an update on our hay situation. This is the hay that we cut on our own property this year, and we're still doing okay. Like, we have a few more months, I would think, at least two months, maybe, I don't know, worth of hay left. So us, this little property has done us well. Always the last one for breakfast. So I decided to give the girls some hay out here this morning, just a little bit of hay, because the farrier is gonna be here in like 30 minutes and we're not even ready. I want them to eat a little bit. Our farrier comes first thing in the morning to us. We're her first stop on a busy day, but I want them to eat now so that they're not grouchy when she's here. You guys, I love this day. This is the day that it's 7.30 a.m and my whole family is in the barn helping me clean and organize to get ready for the farrier. And Ruby's on kitten watch, cat watch. She's watching for cats. And I'm cleaning. I'm getting all the cleaning done. Trauma, but I'm gonna take them to the barn or keep them for when Sophie gets her new horse. But actually, I think Sophie got new ones. Did Gosh. you pick hooves? Um, no. Go out there and pick hooves, please. I just Who's 1K box is this? Gabby's. I just want to say that I caught Willow even though she was running around. Wow, good job, Sophie. She was scared of the brush for no reason. I literally brush her all the time. Yeah, and we even brush them not you know, tied up. Around, she's like, oh my gosh, it's the scariest thing in life. Go pick their feet. In the next week or so, I need to go through our blankets and throw out what we can't use and what we can use. Oddly enough, Storm's blanket lasted so good. And I know it's dirty. I don't like to wash blankets because it compresses the material inside and also it washes away the waterproofing. And you can respray it. And we have done that before. I just don't find it as effective. I feel like every time you wash a blanket, it kind of destroys it. So. Unless I absolutely have to, I don't like to wash them. So this is Stormy Boys. It lasted the whole long winter. And so I have a lot of figuring out to do. Like there are some that are gonna be retired. This is a nice warm one though. And Willow's getting a new one this year for sure. Our girls are not hard on our blankets at all. Our boys are definitely way harder on their blankets, so. Last year was a good year for blankets, so we'll see what happens, but I really want, Willow is definitely getting a new one. Gracie, I love her little blanket, her pink blanket that a subscriber sent to us. Penny's winter blanket, perfect condition, a little dirty, but perfect. Um, It's the boys, the boys always. All right, we've got the big man in the house. Gabby is gonna groom him. He's huge. We missed him so much at the show. We're so not used to showing like other people's horses and and we're used to showing ours. Wow, your hooves grew a lot. He, because he's on grass, probably. Your hooves grew a lot, Mr. Man. All right, so ooh, we're trying to, I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna oil my saddle this week. Like, I'm ready for fall, fall cleaning. This is a beast of a truck and this is what I like. Okay, we Something want- unique and different. All right, that's kind of like the kind of houses I like. So, I was able to get things straightened up here. 
But that way, we're gonna do some fancy stuff for Willow's feet. So I was able to sweep and clean, and it doesn't look that exciting. Doesn't look that good, but. Molly, yeah, everywhere you see a pine cone, it is Molly. And now I'm filthy. That's what happens when you clean the barn. Sophie, tell them about what you want to do. I want to put duct tape on the ponies' noses. She wants to put duct tape on the ponies' noses. Oh, <laughs> she's done cracks. Willow's like, don't you dare go to that girl. That's my girl. That's her spooky walk. No, she's. That was her spook walk. She's mad at Gracie. All right, okay. So we're going to see. Here. What happens when we put... I want to hold your head. We're going to see what happens when we put tape on the horse's noses. <laughs> well, she's actually quite smart. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is the girl that had, like, 12 porcupine quills in her snout one morning. Okay, take it off. But she's a good girl. <laughs> good girl. She deserves a treat for that. Let me go get you a treat. Aw, she's not too... <laughs> She's not too traumatized. We saw that on TikTok and she's like, I want to do it. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. That doesn't seem nice. We put tape on our cat's paws before, which didn't seem like a big deal, but people freaked out. So anyway, we're being careful. She's earning herself a treat, you guys, for Are that. Are you Um, yeah. Oh, do I have the champion one? It all smashed. You want to give it to somebody? This is a champion ribbon Another cookie. One Here, okay. Get the Gabby got the better one. She said there's a better looking one. Oh yeah, let's see, let's show them. Oh, that's so cool, who made that? What, do you remember the name of the company? Oh, I forget the name of the company, but they're nice. Oh, he is such a nice looking boy. I can't wait to take him back and start riding. You gotta get back into regular shape. She's been riding him at home, but it's not the same. All right, Mr. Champion. I gotta, wait, should I, bite my arm. should I do it to Chino? Yeah, oh, we should have did it to Chino first. My arm. Here, let me do it to Chino Still before you get the entire treat. Yeah, that's, that's cool. All right, hold on. Stop moving. He's like, I don't want that. Look at how big he is. No, he thinks it's a treat. Why are you so <laughs> All they know is they want to get it off. Okay, take it off. Oh, look, he almost got it off. It's just like, it's not even really, it's... Gracie stopped when he, she knows she's going to do it again. There you go. He's like, oh, that was so mean. Okay. You get a treat. All right, let's, yeah, let's do them all while we wait. I mean, if you're going to do it to one, you might as well do it to all. you got to be fair. She doesn't want me to give Gracie her treat yet, but she deserves a treat for sure. Let's do a test of I'm just sitting here. On a stool, who comes to me? Who comes? It's my Gracie girl. This is what made me want to buy her. Oh, and now Willow comes. Gracie comes because she wants like interaction and, and and like to visit and to say hi and a treat. Willow comes to tell Gracie to get away from her supplier. Oh, look at it. They're all coming. Hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah, hot pit. Oh, she looks so good. I need to ride her soon. It's kind of rainy today. We're busy for the next couple of days, but then we are looking at a truck tomorrow. Oh, she's like, oh my God. All right, some idiot left the gate open. <laughs> it was me. It's okay, go ahead. Go back in there. Good girl. You know what to do. Mom. I don't know how it happened. I didn't even know the door was open. All right, there we go. I swear I closed the door. In fact, I think you were the first. You were out last. No. Yeah. Like, I've seen ponies oh, be really, so cute. really funny. Oh, she got it off. Oh, she got it off. She gets a first place ribbon. Let's give Gracie her ribbon, too. Penny, you got to do a trick to get a ribbon. You get a blue place ribbon. All right, Penny Pickle, let's do you. <laughs> She's like, all right, hold on. Hold on, you gotta do the trick first. You have to do it. Here, Willow slowly chews on that. Hold on, you gotta do the trick first. Here we go. Penny. <laughs> She's like trying to eat it. <laughs> oh, she doesn't even get that. That's my girl. There we go. There's three. Oh. She doesn't care. She just cares that she gets a treat. Blue ribbon for you. <laughs> she, can <live> <laughs> she can live with it on. 
Oh, now she's gonna try and get it off. No, that's her chew. No! That's the rest of Willow's. She just takes an hour to chew it because she's smaller. <laughs> she's like, I kept it on the longest. She should get a red ribbon for keeping it on the longest. She didn't have the icing on the red ribbon. All right, take it off. See, it's funny how like horses' personalities are so different. Like Penny really <laughs> doesn't care. <laughs> Look at her lips. They're all red. Oh, From her treat. I don't care. Can I have a treat again? So we're a little bit up north and it's raining now and we were in such a hurry to leave after Farrier, I left my coat. So I'm wearing Sam's coat today. We're here, it's raining a bit. Hopefully I can get some good footage without the microphone getting wet. We're gonna go in the building and then we're gonna to tell you guys, some of you guys guessed what we're doing. Seeing Gabby with her hammer up like that, kind of scary. Wow, this is it. This is all we came for. Everybody has to find a good spot. I found a blue rock, Dad. Oh, is that a green one right there? So it's free to come here. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, look what I found. So you can break off, use your hammer and break off a piece of that. That's gorgeous. Wait, you guys see it? Oh yeah, I see it. All right, the race is on. It's a geode, is that what it's called? No, it's a blue rock. Oh, it's a blue rock. Go. Geode, it's just like a gray rock, but it's more circular. Look at that big circle rock right there. Do you see it, the big circle? Oh, that one? Geodes, yeah, we want to find geodes. Okay, so basically, this is a rock. You mine rocks. You go and you find, like, you break an ankle. Ah! Holy cow. Easy to break an ankle. Oh my god, I found a really nice one. Oh. All right, Gabby doesn't get how you're supposed to break open rocks. It would hurt. <laughs> let's just, let's see. You want a pink rock? Oh my I god, I am falling. I'm gonna break my bones. Look at a heart shaped rock. All right, are you, <laughs> right, you just like finding. Two arms. <laughs> Sophie's already doing it. Well, because I wanted to see if this is a deal. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. That's good. You're doing it. Right there. Right in front of you. The guy with the bad knee seems to be making some pretty good. Well, oh, it's a rock with a hole in it. Just, just, just. Mom, I can't break it open. Oh, wow. Oh, sparks. sparks. Oh. All right, well, I'm not going to get a good piece out of that. I'm just picking up rocks, Gabby says. Just picking rocks. Rocks. I'm just going to buy my new sparks. There's a heart shaped rock. Oh. Yeah. oh my god, I did that. Oh, let's see what you found. Oh, oh, that is stunning. That's a good one. Uh, uh, my glasses are all foggy. That's I'm keeping this. Can you try and crack this open? Alright, I'm well, gonna... we can crack them open at home, like, more. If we keep it. I'm gonna keep looking. Ow. So, you can walk all around up here in the woods. Gabby's liking this, too. <sighs> Alright, I went up this little hill. I'm done. <laughs> oh, that is cool. And then this one I found on the ground. Oh my gosh, let me see. Sophie. Yeah. This one I found on the ground. I saw tons of those. This one I also found on the ground. Oh, that's fancy. And this one I found on the ground. Oh, what? Somebody just stands oh, I there. That. I know. She's like, where are you finding these? I don't want 
Okay, He's so finding them on the ground. So what you can do when you find like See, your rock? You yeah, one. this one is cool. How do we break this? All right, let's break it. Oh, I got another purple. The piece flew into my face. Yeah. I don't I like that. that. Purple. Give Gabby a purple. I want a purple one. <laughs> I would like a purple one. Ah, they're flying in my face. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> So when you find a big rock, it costs like two dollars a pound to take these rocks out of here. So if you don't, if you, yeah. So if you, how the heck? All right. So I think. Oh, there's a fence here. Yeah, no, I'm gonna sit on this little uh, rock here. Oh, late. Oh, that's a pointy rock. <laughs> You know that feeling? <laughs> you know that feeling when Doesn't somebody cool else is fine and all? Yeah, I like the green one. I found a cool green one too. I don't need that one. All right. Be very picky, adult. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's got gold in it. No, it's shiny. Oh, it's so cool. Probably because it's chipping away. All right. Yeah, Sophie's finding. Little tawny pretty wow. ones. All right, I'm gonna chop this up for Gabby. Yeah. So I could choose follow Sophie, the logical child, the one that has all the luck finding the good rocks, or follow Gabby. Mm -hmm. So I follow Gabby, and she leads me to this cliff, and she wants me to expects me to go down there. Look. So it's flat on the bottom, but then it's pointy on the top. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's see what you got. Um. So I found. This is, Dad made me get this for the thing you want me to do for school. I don't want that one though, but this one's really pretty. This one's pretty. Oh, let's see, that one's very green. That one. Then, is this one with a big purple point? Yeah, that's cool. I'm it's cool. like literally so sunny, or so good weather today. I'm going to try and go down this hill. <gasps> Jeez. Just drops right off. Yeah, Gabby's laughing. <laughs> I led you to your death. I'm going to look in here. So my favorite thing, if you ever, if you ever come here. I found a dead bird. <laughs> Gabby found a dead bird. So if you ever come here, my hint to you, my tip to you. Oh, look, I could walk down there. It's faster than Gabby's spot is to find a good spot to sit your butt and then just start chopping rocks. Look, it sounds really into it. I mean, we could go to the beach and pick rocks for free. <laughs> so we got Sam and Sophie over there. Gabby and I have made our way. Yeah, I found. Where'd that thing go? I found this little sliver of a rock. It's blue and like really pretty blue. So we want to try and get some of that. Oh, you can have that one right there. Or that big one which has more vibrant. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous over there. So this is what we do. We just get what we want and then we break them on these big rocks. But look at these big rocks are so pretty. You can't really tell. But if you look like close, there's so much different color variations in it. It's like almost like an opal. All right, so look at these ones. These ones are so cool. That's like the one I just showed you. I'm going to try and break a piece off of it. And then there's a blue one. I want to get a piece of that. And then they have these ones. Like, look, that is stunning. I know these are just rocks and I sound like an idiot. Look at this one though. Like, this is a giant. Like, that is so pretty. It's like shimmering like gold. That is stunning. Don't you know that you're beautiful?